So Harrison, man, Coach Zim took over and, you know, this is my first season with the guys and, you know, we see Coach Zim every day over there with the DBs, literally every day, Matt. Oh, he buys. He, he actually buys and he don't mind showing it. Hey, he over there every day. <laughs> <laughs> so when Coach Zim took over your third season, what did you, um, like, what did you, what did you take away from his, uh, his arrival? Because we are, we, we all know with me being there a couple months, we know his, uh, his, his, uh, let me see how I can say it, his appearance, his, 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 his uh, bashfulness, like how did that, you know, help your career and how did you feel he had an impact on, on your first season once he got there known as a uh, defensive back guru? Um, man, being, being able to play in, in his defense, I knew a couple guys on the Bengals where he came from and I saw him that off season and they, just said how much I would enjoy playing for him. And after like seeing him on hard knocks and everything, I was like, <laughs> like, are you sure? Like, I don't know. And uh, he gets in and he's, you know, like you said, he's, he's tough. He's old school. Mm -hmm. Every now and then he'll be a little grouchy. Um, but that's kind of what's made him so good as, as a DB coach and a defensive coach is that, you know, kind of like we were talking about Dalvin not backing down, like Zim doesn't back down, even if he gets beat. Like like this offseason, all the stuff we've been working on to fix what happened last year. Yeah. Um, but his uh, – what he asks out of safeties is really – has been so much fun for me to to try to to compete with. Like he loves Darren Woodson. Darren Woodson's his, like, favorite player ever. Ask him about – Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you ask him about Woody, he just starts smiling. Darren and uh, Dion. <laughs> yeah. So, so those guys could do it all. And that's kind of what's asked. You got to be down the line of scrimmage. You got to be deep. You got to yeah. play, play routes tight, tackle well, communicate well. Um, so really that third year was like my first introduction to like kind of exotic defenses and a lot of multiple calls and stuff like that. So I thought that was kind of more my like welcome to the league year. And uh, since then have been, trying to expand on it. And uh, it's just, like I said, it's, it's a lot of fun being very multiple as a safety. And that's yeah. what, that's what you get to do in Zim's defense. But if you don't do it well, he's going to tell you about it. And if you, got, <laughs> yeah, if you got an area you got to work on, you better work on it. Yeah. One, one thing I love about Zim, just watching from afar, you know, as a fan of the game, as a former player of the game, he allowed his de defensive players to be players. Yeah. You know, it's not like a robot style. Right. One thing I love how he utilizes uh, Harrison is you don't know where he's going to line up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He might be at the line of scrimmage, bluffing like you're coming off the edge. You know what I mean? You might be in the middle third, might get to a half, you know, might get to that quarter set. So just being able to utilize the best players on the defense and move them around, that's the best thing. That's the best way to have success. We used to do the yeah. same thing, you know, similar with Troy. You know, Troy would line up everywhere in the football field. You don't know. And that used mm -hmm. to confuse the offensive players, especially the quarterback. Cause you got so many different moving pieces that all came together when the ball was in play. So uh shout out to coach Zim and hopefully we can see some more of that exotic like coverages uh, that we've seen, uh, especially with number seven in the second day. And before uh, you go on to that, Mac, it's perfect. Yep. You said that because man, Harrison, actually, we talked about it. I think it was like the last week going into mini camp, the, the pleasure that it is to have older guys in the secondary to where, when shit break down very quickly, we're able to communicate very quickly and be able to react very quickly versus with young guys. Like you can talk to them, but it's almost like you have to stress the issue versus mm -hmm. out there just simple, simply uh, communicating. Because like me and X had a situation, me, X and uh, McKenzie actually in the red zone. And then, you know, I can't go through all our checks and, and nothing like that. But it was something we checked right quick on the fly. Literally, it was like a second before the ball was snapped. Mm -hmm. But we all got through through the communication and it all, you know, end up working itself up. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's great to have guys that have a ton of experience and that's what, you know, cause Zim understand that he has, and he really don't bother us much when it's time for practice, but yeah. when it, when we going through our warmups and stuff, he want to, you know, he tell us things he want us to see. But when we go on that practice field, man, it's like, it's like hand in hand. And my line Harrison is like, you know, we out there we're working, we're communicating and hell me and X, we've been there only, Fuck what a couple months, <laughs> we fit yeah. right on in. So, just the culture there, man. I, I love everything about it. So I'm I'm excited to be on the uh, the Minnesota Vikings team for sure. 
Pat P, you got to. Wh- what time is it? Ass cutting time, Jack. That's what time it is, Harris. <laughs> Let's go. That's what time it is, Harris. Hey, y'all meet me in L.A. And I'm yes, not sir. talking wow, about to man. see a Clipper, a uh, Laker game. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. February, meet me in L.A. And I had the shirts made for all y'all. What time it is, Pat P? <laughs> Let them know what time it is. That's good time, Jack. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You know what time it is, man. Hey, I'm fired up. I t- I'm a Viking fan right now. Y'all got my, my guy there. Man, I'm a fan of Harrison. Like I talked about, the sleeve and swag always be on point. They hit, man. <laughs> man, listen. It's time. Stop playing around. Let's go kick some people in the mouth.